Hey, Joe for the Joe Wentz Project here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. And I just wanted to go over a few things that I saw uh, on Google. Uh, of course, your phone always uh, pulls up things that you search, you know what I mean? So it gets to know you pretty much. Uh, I was looking at this one article. Alex Van Halen uh, says there's nothing left of the music business, according to Classic Rock Radio, uh, which really I've kind of felt that way for a long time. Music business. I was like, damn. I mean, I think nowadays I kind of wonder how a rock group would make money in the music business. Is is that even around for you know people of uh, – that stature of being a rock group. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, I know you have being a musician, in my opinion, you have a certain time span to do that. You can't just, uh, you know, it's all about looks. Of course, you know, I guess talent nowadays, I don't know, maybe it's just looks nowadays, youth, you know, um, and I think also it, it, uh, that old analogy applies. It takes money to make money. So, and of course, some contacts in the right place. But you know, back in the day, man, you, before social media and all that stuff, you actually, for from what I remember seeing, you know, MTV and all that stuff, you actually, you actually went out there and played. And uh, and when social media came in, it just turned everything upside down. Uh, I don't know. It's got people. Uh, that are uh, have videos and all that that really don't have no business doing that, you know. Uh, I don't know. It's it's crazy. It's just it's it's insane. But anyway, touching on Alex Van Halen's, uh, I'm quoting from this article I'm seeing on uh, on my phone here. He said that uh, uh, modern technology has been misused to destroy the world of recording. There's nothing left in the music business, Alex Van Halen says. It's a bunch of ones and zeros. In the old days, you'd get a dollar a record, and now you get 50 cents for every 275,000 streams. It's insane, and it's wrong. Uh, I think I remember hearing, I don't know if this was last year or a uh, year before or something, I think Peter Frampton had uh, tweeted where he got his uh, royalty check from uh, the streaming services, you know, from... Uh, one of his biggest hits and uh, uh, it had, uh, I don't know how many millions of streams and his check wasn't, it wasn't, not, it was really, really small compared to what you would think he would get. You know, uh, like I said, back in the day, I would imagine an artist or band or whatever would get some good money. Of course they did, you know, but, and then that stuff just changed. And, I've, and I'm hearing that now that, Streaming services, they own the record business or music business, excuse me. I don't know, man. Like, what's that one? Uh, Spotify, something like that. They really uh, have a grip on all that stuff. So, I don't see how people make money. I really don't. I mean, when I was younger, I, uh, I wanted to do something with music. I really did. I wanted to, I was like, yeah, man, I can, uh, you know. <laughs> hopefully make it in the music business. Yeah, well, that was a big, big pipe dream, man, because then, you know, you get a little older, and you're like, ah, uh, how do I do this? You know, you, like I said, it, you got to know somebody, man. This can kind of help you out, and plus, you got to be in a, uh, in a good band. The bands that I was in at the time, they weren't at that caliber, man. We were just guys getting together and jamming, and, and I, I saw real quick that it's really, you have to be really, really freaking good. You know, you can't just be a, a half-ass garage band, you know. And uh, so, and then, uh, you know, I had to make money and pay bills, just like any other hard-working person, you know. So I was like, well, that ain't going to work. So, but anyway, it was like, you see uh, how these, so-called internet famous people are now it's like man it's it's like they're there and they're gone like that like in no time no time man um so i just uh i wouldn't want to be in that boat 
I wouldn't want to be in that boat. Yeah, it's cool to daydream and everything. But yeah, and I don't know. I think that, uh, and so many people do crazy stuff just to get internet famous. You ever notice that? I mean, they do some stupid shit. Pardon my French. I mean, it's ridiculous, man. Uh, especially uh, young people. They, they do some crazy stuff, man. Not all of them, but I've seen some crazy clips on on my phone. I was like, what are they doing? You know, it's just insane. Uh, but anyway, aside from that, uh, yeah, I just have fun playing in here, man. I get in my own little world and and uh, just play some cover tunes or whatever, but that's about far as that goes. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine uh, my life going into a different direction because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have what I have today. I don't, I'm not rich, uh, not by financial means, but I have a great family and a beautiful wife, and and you know, money, money really can't buy that, you know. Uh, but anyway, I, I got into playing music because I, I love playing guitar and it's it's a really cool instrument and it's very versatile you can play you know blues rock or country or if you like jazz jazz whatever funk and you can play all kind of stuff man it's it's so cool and it's uh, you can be very expressive on the guitar um uh, for me it's like a never-ending journey you know I'll, I'll never be at the level that I want to be and uh, I kind of shot myself in the foot in the beginning of playing. I was like, oh, I don't need no lessons, man. I don't need that. I can just, I can just do whatever. You know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> that was stupid. So uh, I started watching some live bands in the area, in the town I used to live in when I was a lot younger. And I was like, wow, these guys, they got it going on, man. And, and I was sitting there thinking, well, if they're not making it how the hell am I going to do that you know so I knew I found out pretty quick that it is just uh there's a lot you had to do to even try to get that to work here's another example my son is a huge fan of this one local group that was around here they've been around for years man and um it, they were like uh you know in their I don't know how the old they are now they're probably in their mid to late thirties, something like that. And they're still dressing in that rock attire that looks, you know, just one and under the bass player. I remember the bass player looked just like Nikki six. I was like, what? I don't know if he was trying to go for that look or it was just a coincidence. I don't know. But I was like, I asked my son, I said, did any of these guys work or have a job? And he's like, no, nah, man, they all, except for the singer, he moved to Florida uh, he got married. He moved to Florida because of a good job opportunity. And those other guys are still <laughs> living in their mom's basement. I see what I'm saying. I mean, damn, sooner or later, you gotta, you gotta use some common sense, man. And these guys are in their what mid to late thirties now and they never made it. They played some pretty cool shows, you know, and they, they spent a lot of money in the studio doing albums and all that. And, you know, I was like, how they come up with that money? If, they weren't, they were, they had them, you know, minimum wage paying jobs, man, delivering pizza or I don't know. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I guess if you have a dream and you want to go for it, you go for it. But something like that is a very, uh, the odds are against you big time, especially nowadays. I just don't, you know, you have a better shot just doing, setting up your phone and getting on YouTube and trying to perform on that. Not that it'll do anything, but. I don't know, you know, it's just, uh, I started to see a big change in, uh, for me, I noticed I was when American Idol first started all those years ago and I was like, what the hell is this? And I was like, mm. and I just said, man, this is weird. Is this how things are going to be now? People just want to be on TV and act a fool and there's no talent in that, but you know, whatever. I don't know, man. <clears throat> so Nothing ever happened for me as far as doing anything like that, but being on YouTube or having a YouTube channel, which is a very small channel, and playing with these cover songs and 
uh, talking with friends, uh, being on Stabber's Music Studio uh, on Friday night. Check him out, Stabber's Music Studio on YouTube. We hang out every Friday night and um, 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Central. That's a, a quick plug there for you, Dave. And uh, <laughs> so, but yeah, it's uh, so it, it it's I'm fine with that. I am I am fine with that, man. You know, it's a uh, uh, the good thing about having your own little setup on YouTube is you don't have to take equipment anywhere. You know, there's pros pros and cons to everything, but you don't have to take your equipment anywhere. You don't have to, cause I haven't been down that road, man. Been down that road of um, going to band practice, lugging your equipment there. And any when you have a gig, you you know, go in there and you set everything up and you break everything down and you get home at like, you know, I don't know, man, between three or four in the morning or something. And it's late and you're like, Ugh, you know, the older I got, I was like, man, I can't, I can't handle that. Then my job, that's the primary thing I have to think about, you know, my job, my schedule changed on my job. So instead of running the early, early morning shift, now I run the night shift because I just like that shift better. And it's better, you know, traffic wise, the traffic getting is bad late at night and into the early wee hours of the morning, as they say. So, um, and the money's pretty good. So, you know, you have to go with something that, you know, you're going to have some financial security and, uh, so, you know, I found out pretty quick in life that music was just going to be something that was a really, uh, it's a passion, but it's more like a hobby. So was YouTube. You know, like I said, I don't make nothing on here at all, you know, but uh, it's nice to meet people uh, through comments and everything else. Of course, you're going to have your bonehead here and here and there. That's going to happen, but that's an easy fix and they're gone, you know, but anyway, so. I think that's about it for me. I've been uh, spitting these videos out here. I think this is the fourth day in a row. I didn't really want to play anything. Um, I'm kind of played out, really. I'd like to take a day or two break during the week from playing. Let the uh, fingertips heal up a little bit, you know. <laughs> hey, I did get a cool light in the mail today. Let me see if you can see it. Can you see it? Oh, man, let me move out of the way. So that uh, neon guitar light. <laughs> that came in the mail in the day. And that's a, uh, I got to give uh, props to R2, R3, Lock and He's got the same light. And I saw, I, I said, man, I love that neon light. And uh, I saw another YouTuber. He had one as well. I was like, man, that is a cool light. So I ordered it, came today. So there we go. <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all for watching. Let me know what you think about it you know, about YouTube and did you ever have a, a pipe dream of making it music? I mean, I'm, it depends on what you consider making it too, you know? If your definition of making it is, you know, playing in uh, bars and clubs or whatever, you know, whatever the venues are, then you, and yeah, you made it, you know, it depends on what level of making it is for you. Uh, you know, I got to play some gigs and stuff like that. I got to feel what that was like. I got to experience it. You know, it was cool. But sometimes it wasn't what it was cracked up to be. You know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, but was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was cool. And I, But I knew in the back of my mind, I said, I wouldn't want to do this all the time. To have to depend on this to try to, you know, get by and, you know, make money. You know, so everything now, like I said, is... It's, uh, you don't even hear guitar that much and stuff. I mean, you do. It's there. And, you know, guitar sales were out the roof because of COVID. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spots. But, see, to a 20-year-old, I'm considered an old man. Uh, you know, so I'm not going to like what they like. You know, and the stuff that they like is more, you know, uh, electronic-based, you know, or whatever. And I don't get into that, you know. Uh just my two cents. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it very much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, come back and see me and uh, leave a thumbs up. Please leave a thumbs up. Let's me know that you care and you enjoy what I'm doing here. Um, I know this content is, is far from perfect, uh, but I enjoy YouTube. It's, it's fun, you know, so 
Uh, we will see you next time around. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you.